Yo, what's up, y'all? So the day already kind of started pretty quickly, and I see some really good light. But since this is a vlog, I really want to make sure that I'm checking in and keeping y'all posted on everything. Um, but I made it to Upper East Side, and yeah, the lights are already getting pretty good. So I'll do a little intro after this, so we can kind of talk about what I'm doing while I'm out here. Yeah. All right, let's go get this. See, like this is fire. to the channel everybody um hope everybody's well um, i'm back in new york and uh i wanted to make a youtube episode for a couple of reasons i had a couple of ideas and i figured this could be kind of the start of something cool um i've been giving a lot of thought to the idea of not creating while i'm in new york city and kind of using that as like this weird excuse i'm fortunate and blessed to travel enough where i don't necessarily feel that inspiration to shoot in New York as much and I've also shot it so much uh, just living here that I do feel like I don't have that sense of inspiration that I do when I travel but I also realize that's not really an excuse it I could use that as an opportunity to challenge myself in more unique ways so what I thought was well why don't you shoot New York again how you shoot traveling right so one thing I do love when I travel is getting up early shooting sunrise and golden hour so why don't I apply that back to New York getting up early getting up for sunrise making my way to a new neighborhood each time and just simply shooting it like with fresh eyes and just being out in the morning with the camera when it's quiet it's just my element that I enjoy seeing good light hit certain situations and landscapes and just watching what light does in the morning is really inspiring to me as well so it's like why not apply that to your own to your own city so that's kind of the first quest that I'm out to do for I guess it's a new YouTube series I'm not really sure if that's the proper term for this but I essentially plan on going around to each neighborhood all over again and kind of shooting it um, with fresh eyes, probably for golden hour. And maybe there's like a body of work that ends up coming out of it. But I think it would just be a good, simple exercise to kind of just work my own eye and my own craft again, shooting film. I'm shooting with the uh, Texas Leica again. I think for this project, I just really want to slow down and kind of get to that element of it. Um, Today, I've so far I've shot with Porsche 800. I've rolled, I've pushed one roll through, got another one in here, a couple more shots. I may move to Porsche 400. That's not really kind of the goal of this uh, of this video. It's more so about getting out and creating. Um, that's why I wanted to sit down and do a proper intro, and so I happened to do it in Central Park. <laughs> um, one last note, though, to getting back to the essence of things and just getting slowing down. I also thought another element to this video, which could be cool, is comparing scans. So I'll, after this, I'll probably drop this off either. Um, I'll decide which lab I decide to drop it off at. And I will basically do a comparison of what the lab scans look like versus when I scan my own film and use negative lab pro. I figured that would be cool. And another element to the video that could be fun to kind of look at and compare. Enough said, enough talking. Like I said, Texas like a y'all, we back at it. Um, Portrait 800, Portrait 400 most likely. I'll label the photos. Let's get out here and shoot though. across the corner just to like load up the camera uh, with more Portrait 800 
and I came across this light scene. I'm trying to figure out how to work it. And that's kind of the point of this morning and trying to get out here and shoot golden hour and that beautiful morning light. It's trying to find these interesting ways that the light kind of hits New York City and how that inspires me. So I'm trying to work this one scene. I think it's pretty cool. Let's figure it out. The light's not necessarily amazing with this shop, but the Ralph Lauren coffee shop on the Upper East Side is just way too cool. So I had to get the shot. I just had to, it's too fire. Oh, this light hit me good I guess of me getting up for sunrise slash golden hour walking around shooting this morning i decided to pick williamsburg because it's really close i live in bushwick so it's really close and i'm going swimming i swim in williamsburg so i figured i would walk around with uh the texas like it and shoot the finish off this roll from Upper East Side. I still need to finish that. Then if I uh, have more to shoot, I'll keep, I'll load up another roll, but I figured um, why not shoot Williamsburg? Let's try, let's keep, let's keep knocking out these neighborhoods. Um, yeah, y'all, let's go shoot. <laughs> Honestly, it was more so about the light. I just wanted to kind of take it. Um, I have a obviously a, a huge passion for shooting restaurants and interiors. So seeing those subjects uh, in good light always inspires me. So I had to take this shot. Hopefully it's decent. And then the, the she was setting up for the morning. So I tried to get her in the light just to see how the detail would come out on medium format. Alright y'all, so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a fun exercise. Um, I know I mentioned in the introduction that I was going to do like kind of two parts here and that was like um, coming back and scanning all the film and comparing the scans. Well, I did do that. I scanned my own film, um, but I think Luster's work was better than mine. I also think I need to like calibrate the colors on my monitor before I really start scanning again because seeing them next, I was like putting the video together and seeing the scans side by side. It was too consistent that luster scans were looking a little bit better than what I was doing. So to me, it was kind of uh, kind of pointless. There was a couple, though, and I'll throw them up right now that I felt like were better. My scans were better than luster, but overall, I think luster scans were um, a little bit better. And then also, when you look into the time that it takes to scan your own film, to me, it started to become not really worth the exercise. Um, but that's that i'm pretty sure i will implement scanning my own work in the next uh parts of this series as i continue to explore different neighborhoods just to like save money on on film or whatever 
Um, but that's it. Um, I don't have anything. I'm going to Miami tomorrow, but I, I'm not sure I want to say a YouTube episode because I just love making photos in warm, beautiful, sunny climates like Miami and Miami's Miami is popping. I like I like making photos in Miami as well, but I don't know. I don't want to put that pressure on myself, but maybe. And this time next week, we will officially have started our um, our Italian honeymoon. So we'll be going to Italy next week, and I'm sure I'm going to do a whole lot of stuff. I'm super, super excited about that trip. I think I'm going to probably only shoot uh, – with the Texas Leica and the M8. I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to bring the M10. I don't, I just want like, I don't know. I just want the work to really feel really dope. I just want to be really proud of like everything that I make on this trip. And then it's a honeymoon. So there's a film feeling that already is kind of like romantic about it, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. That's it for this week's episode. Uh, I'll see y'all next week.